Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and here we are with exactly what I said we were going to get. Everyone was, you know, freaking out like a week or two ago and they were like, hey dude, how come we're not getting a lot of footage? You know, they filmed in London, we didn't get to see anything, you know, why aren't they, why aren't we getting leaked images and stuff? And it's like, yeah, look, they didn't shoot a lot outside in London, as I said before, and I kept telling everyone, calm down, it's fine, when they get to San Francisco, we're going to get a ton of stuff and look at that, we got a ton of stuff and we got a lot of content to make, so let's get to it. Uh, our first step, we're going to look into the technical department, the camera department, and this is the first thing we came across, and uh, I want to give a shout out to Venom Gaming and uh, Venom Media and uh, Panhead and all these people out there, Bruce, you know, uh, uh, McDonald, and uh, all these great people who, like, send me stuff, AD, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people out there. I appreciate you guys very much for sending me stuff. Most of the stuff I do come across on my own, but there were a couple things in here that uh, I want to give you guys a shout-out for, for, you know, being so diligent, and, you know, maybe I was taking a nap or something or wasn't online because I'm at work, and, uh, and you guys were sending me stuff, so appreciate you guys very much. Uh, but so these first images that you're seeing is from Video Facts and they are helping with the camera department and they're working you know as the local springboard for the camera department so they're coming in they're cleaning up some of the gear they're getting it ready for shooting and uh, you see this guy you know in the first image he was cleaning something up and then you see these other two guys hanging out uh, near like you know giant rig there's like a tripod back there they're putting together gear they got carts together um, so yeah it's just pretty neat seeing all these guys they're they're, they're renting stuff from RE rental um, and RE is like a you know diff, you know it's like a film equipment studio like I, I've been there before at least in LA like they have you know different branches and stuff where you can like warehouses where you can go rent gear from them so you can rent like you know sticks you know for your camera or you can rent you know rigs whatever you want uh, they, they have a lot of stuff obviously camera gear too so this is pretty cool seeing uh, you know all these people coming together putting all these uh, you know equipment together getting it ready for the shoot so I wanted to share that you know just because little technical thing there so figured you guys might appreciate that and they give a shout out to Peter Byrne who is a camera assistant actually um, there's a couple different jobs for camera assistants there's you know the first uh, assistant camera position and that's someone who will like you know keep things in focus so like as the camera's moving they'll operate the focus you know um, you know I guess the uh, spec of the the camera and they'll they'll basically you know be turning that and, and operating that so that way whatever character they need to stay in focus in the shot is always in focus and so that's kind of one of the jobs of the first uh, assistant camera but a camera assistant might be someone who will inspect the equipment verify it uh, make sure it's in good working order and loading the camera with film as well as uh, sometimes even positioning lighting equipment in preparation for the shoot uh, so you know so that's uh, Peter Burns kind of role in the movie I guess is is he's you know someone who does that for the a camera because I guess there's going to be multiple cameras for different scenes and stuff and that's good for coverage and also you know so if you get a really good take you have it from two different angles so it gives you more options in the editing bay so uh, yeah so big shout out to Peter Byrne from these guys here and uh, yeah so the next photos we're going to get to is uh, we actually just have this one real quick one with Tom Hardy he posted uh, to uh, war paint and tribes on Instagram uh, this like killer board that he was given so yeah that's pretty sweet looking it has like venom art on it and stuff so yeah that was pretty cool I just something a little quick there uh, to show and then also Tom with a couple people like you know of course he's around San Francisco so when people run into him they're like hey can we get a picture so this is him at the airport I believe with these two uh, young ladies here and uh, and they said um, you know bring your bestie to work trip amazing what we can squeeze in in five days and then we run into Tom Hardy you know thanks for the pick you know pretty cool uh, they were I guess skiing in Lake Tahoe uh, they says <laughs> so um, that's pretty neat you know just fans running into and it's always a great thing to see um, I can uh, iconologist and a couple other people Tom Hardy Italia they they like reposting these and ETHX on uh, Twitter they all like posting these and reposting these, so that's pretty cool. That's how I come across some of this stuff. Um, but yeah, then you got this guy here who is, uh, you know, he's all tatted up on his arm. He's hanging out with Jake Tamori and Tom Hardy, and Jake Tamori obviously is Tom Hardy's uh, stunt double. And uh, this gentleman said, yeah, I was on the set of Venom 2, and Tom Hardy mentioned my tattoos, and it turned into a conversation about jiu-jitsu and a possible training session with him and his stunt double, Jake. Uh, both these guys were super humble. How awesome is that? Like, I mean, could you imagine being like an extra on a set? You're, you know, you're playing either, you know, you know, a prison guard or an inmate or you're, whatever role this guy was playing, um, or maybe just, you know, walking around as an extra. Like, uh, you know, I can't really tell where they were filming, but uh, but that'd be pretty cool if he's like, yeah, you, you just saw saw my tattoos. We started talking, and then now I'm gonna be hanging out with the guy and possibly taking a jujitsu class with him. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty awesome. I hear Tom's really awesome like that. He's a really cool guy, and uh, as someone who 
who's met him for you know a few minutes i gotta say at least my uh, you know it, it, my view of him is that he's very awesome <laughs> i didn't get to hang out with him too much but uh but you know the little time i had with him he was very genuine and when i told him about my show and doing the venom vlog he was really thrilled he was like that's amazing so I'm glad we're still doing the show two years, you know, after the announcement or after the like, the start, I guess, the production of the first movie. Um, we've been following this since November of 2017. So it's it's nice that we're, you know, now we're going to be getting into the three year marker um, in about, you know, by the time this movie comes out. All right. So we have more uh, images here. These are just images that were taken uh, from people passing by. And I'll, I'll credit them on, on screen here of uh, the street that they're filming on and, you know, in right now in the a district called the tenderloin is uh, the district uh, that they're filming in and this was last night february uh, 16th sunday night and they were just you know doing a couple different shots here it sounds like uh, and it looks like and we'll see some of the footage and stuff but i just want to show some of the area how they wrangled people how they you know put everyone together how they got their you know their their you know, screen set up and how or another screen but how they got like they blocked off the street and they kind of got their stage set so, uh, yeah, and they are filming outside of apartment buildings and a couple businesses, but they, you know, they always put up warnings. Like they give them, they put signs up, you know, like the week before they come and they're like, Hey, next week we're filming here are the hours that you're not going to be able to park in front of your, you know, your apartment building and stuff. So we're sorry, but you know, sorry for the inconvenience. And then here's what we're going to be doing. So if there's going to be loud noises, they have to warn them and stuff like that. So that's what we have here. We just have a couple different shots, uh, we have, um, you know, like this one shot here. It's just, it's like a screen grab I got from someone's two-second video. And again, I'll credit the people who who this belongs to. But it shows like a Sony Pictures, you know, uh, logo on the side of the van. And uh, and so yeah, this is all all Sony stuff. Uh, this is coming from uh, Blue Panda NW, and that's who that last photo was from. And that's who this video is from, actually. Uh, this video that you're seeing here, it's like, you know, 20 seconds long. And uh, it's it's someone outside of a building. It says Hotel Schuler, But uh, that's actually not a real building. I mean, that's a real building, sure. But that sign, it doesn't seem like that's an actual sign that's normally on that building. Because uh, we're actually going to see here in a minute, there's a tweet where somebody says, uh, dude, they stuck like a, a neon sign on the side of my building. <laughs> and uh, that's not, you know, that's not normally there or whatever. And he's like, and now they're filming. He's like, uh, great. I guess I'm not going to be able to sleep for a couple hours. So I thought that was kind of cool. So it's like, oh, there's some information. Yeah, this person, um, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. I, I can't say their name, but, <laughs> um, but they put, uh, it's a pretty hardcore name, uh, but they put, they stuck a neon sign on the building next door and suddenly my street is the set of a Hollywood movie, Wow, Venom 2. So big shout out to, you know, these fans in San Francisco and these people who live in the area who have been really awesome to share this stuff so we can make videos on. So thank you guys very much. Um, yeah, so then you saw that clip. So, um, yeah, it, it's funny. They just stuck a neon sign on the building, according to this person. So, yeah, I guess that, that sign's not normally there. I guess it's not, that's not really a hotel. It must be like an apartment building, and, and they just want to make it look like a, a hotel. So, yeah, uh, movie magic. That's right. They, they I spent like two days, I think, setting up for this shoot. Um, so, yeah, that's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, one guy mentioned that he was watching them filming Venom 2, but he can't really see anything. So, because uh, he also didn't, didn't want to spoil it for himself. He's just excited for the movie. So, you know, shout out to that guy who is probably like me. Like, it's like, oh, I want to go. I want to see it, but I don't. You know, I don't want to spoil. Um, so, yeah, for sure. I, I totally get that. Um, so, yeah, we got a couple more images here. Um of the of the street of this uh this is matilda the tripod it's a it's a i guess there's a, a puppy account that someone's you know you know they have two i guess a, like two puppy accounts or something but they were posting that um outside the building earlier in the day of uh of this shoot that's going to happen so they're like oh yeah we were you know heard the crew was setting up for venom 2 so we just kind of went by and, and checked it out so they posted these great uh images uh one of them here this third image which is like this big crane with this platform on it and it made me wonder if someone's going to stand on that platform and get raised up in the air and the with the camera looking at them or even more likely is that this is some kind of uh, uh you know help to light it where it's like they can bounce light off of you know that bottom of that platform because it's white or something i don't really know i couldn't really see in the filming of this um how the how this was used and stuff so i, I actually don't know um how this big rig was used but it's really cool looking in the shot here, you actually see this big white thing over there. I think that's called a butterfly. 
um, or maybe it's like a bigger version, but it's like, it's just a white screen that kind of helps bounce light off and stuff. So it's just them prepping. Obviously they're going to shoot at night, but it's just, th this is what it takes. You know, they got to prep all day and get, get things ready. So it's really neat to see. So you got these crew members just kind of walking around, you know, uh, getting stuff set up. And so during this time, they usually let people film and take pictures for the most part, as long as you're not like annoying anybody and you're not, you know, overstepping your bounds or, or getting, you know, crossing any lines. They'll tell you where you can and can't walk. But usually during this time, they don't mind. They're just like, yeah, just stay out of our way and, and you're fine. It's when they start filming the actual scene that they don't want people yelling. They don't, you know, they don't want stuff like that. Uh, even phones. Like, I don't know if they, if they'll call out to tell people to put their phones on vibrate or not. I, I don't know what the, the deal is there. Uh, but I imagine they don't want too much exterior noise if they can help it. Uh, but it's in a city, so you're probably going to get car horns honking. You're going to get all kind of stuff, most likely. Uh, so it's, it's hard to control a lot of that stuff. So that's why the sound department so important <laughs> of what they get and why you make sure you, you mic your people who are speaking and then you get your, your boom mics in there if you need that. Um, you got to make sure everything's, you know, top quality. So, yeah, these are just some fun images. Thank you, uh, Matilda the Tripod, for, for posting these. Um, then we also have someone else, uh, uh, Meggie, who posted uh, some information. The real life adventure of having Tom Hardy, Eddie Brock, and Venom as your neighbors, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So I guess on their street, again, uh, they're filming uh, Venom stuff. And, and people were you know, saying, like, oh, is this Venom's apartment? Is this, you know, what is this? And I'm like, I don't know. It says Motel Schuler. So I don't know if Eddie's staying there or if that's where Cletus Cassidy is laying low. Um, I can't imagine Cletus Cassidy would really be laying low. I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, maybe he is. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, what all this is. But right now it's just it's just uh, neat to see all these behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, so, yeah, get a couple more images in there, squeeze them in. Um, and then other people posting just, you know, random daily photos of uh, of the you know of the equipment which is nice you get to see some of this equipment here I'll, I'll try to scroll through some of these pretty quickly because this video is already going longer than I thought it would uh, these images are from Gail Ong and uh, she said another Hollywood set in San Francisco this one is um, in the Tenderloin uh, district a production badge said Fillmore which is a code name for Venom 2 many believe which is no we don't believe that it's actually that's the case um, but she said they were told that they were going to film in the city until the end of February so it looks like we have our potential wrap, you know, at some point coming up, you know, in the next week. So this is uh, that's exciting to get that news. I mean, again, she, that's what she was told, you know, things change and stuff, but yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably going to at least go for another week. I mean, it's, it's only one more week and I think that'll be a good time to, to wrap up the filming and hopefully sometime in March, you know, like, cause last time they finished filming and within like seven or eight days, we got a teaser trailer. So that could be good that they wrap up filming now and that, you know, everyone's speculation about a trailer possibly coming in March or April at the latest is it could be, you know, happening, which is really great. So thank you, Gail, for that uh, bit of information there. All right. And that's all for this video. Actually, what I want to do is uh, I, the next clip I have is of these cops rolling up to a building and then even a clip of uh, uh, Woody Harrelson as Cletus Cassidy. We get our first look at him from Tom Hardy and this little video that was shot by MS Muggler. Uh, you know of Cletus getting shot by these cops so I think this is all happening in the same space so we'll talk about that in the next video so for those of you who are waiting for that thank you so much for waiting um, you, you won't have to wait much longer I'll try to record that and get that up as, as soon as uh, you know after this as possible but uh, let me know what you guys think of these clips you know I just wanted to put all the the shooting stuff and all the extra things you know all in one video together so that you you guys can see it all and give shout outs to every you know everyone out there who's been filming this stuff we really do appreciate it because we have been pretty dry on this channel for movie news as as we talked about earlier at the beginning of the episode and uh, it's nice that you know you guys are able to you know see some of the stuff and film it for us and not for us but for just film it in general for you and and it get out there and, and you get you know help the hype train for this movie going along so it means a lot and then because you're doing that is it gives me content to make and and i greatly appreciate it and i know the people who watch my channel greatly appreciate it so thank you very much and you know let your comments be known down below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there but yeah make sure you stay subscribed because the next video is going to be all about carnage thanks see you in the future peace